No hair. Who this? Eh. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. Hey ho! I love photo shenanigans. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Destiny Mo Shize. You know, if you new here, welcome to the Slay Nation. If you not, you know I watch what you the wrong way. Today's video is a semi-requested video. I see a couple people asking me to make videos um showing how I make the glosses. And I was in the process of making the new lip gloss that I have on now. This is our Houston's Angel Malia Davis lip gloss. Um, it's uh, basically a clear lip gloss with pink shimmer and pink glitter. Y'all gotta forgive me. I had a long day. I had to get my hair done today. Simone did this. She did my hair and makeup. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm really feeling this color. Like My whole family is like, ooh. I'm like yes. So if you keep seeing me looking down, my mind says down there a bit. Yeah. So um yeah, Simone did my hair. Shout out to you, Simone, and my makeup. And yeah, so while I was like, well, I'm already kind of she's knees up. Let me go ahead and show you guys the process of me making the ma not the Malia, the Houston's Angels glosses. And um a little backstory on the glosses and why I named them. So, if you don't know, if you have been lived under rock, under a rock, this has been international news. So, there was a little baby girl, four years old, by the name of Malia Davis, who was reported missing by her stepfather, and she was missing for about a month. The whole story did not add up to what he was saying until he finally confessed about murdering poor little four-year-old Malia. And she touched the hearts of so many people here in Houston and all over the world. And basically we dubbed her Houston's Angel. Beauty Beast did not want to capitalize off her name, but we wanted to show respect that, you know, that was a little lady, there was a little baby who lost her life to a monster, basically. And her mother was, She's a whole other topic for a different day. But we want to show our honor, you know, like our hearts were broken with this story. And so we wanted to honor her and what better way to honor her than making a lip gloss. Um, and this lip gloss can be worn by adults, children, infants. <laughs> If you want to learn how to make this gloss, then keep on watching. Make sure you guys shop beautybeatcos.com. The link will be in the description to get your gloss and other glosses that we have on the site. And also, I'll highlight this and show your support to Malia. Um, may you rest in peace, baby girl. And um, what else? I think there's all I want to say. If y'all see some cap lace sticking up, look, it's been a long day, okay? A long day, and she gonna get snatched off by the end of this video, so we just gonna go with the flow, okay? All right, so let me sure get my stuff together. My hands are already washed, so let me get everything together, and we can get started on these lip glosses, you feel me? All right. But first, before I do, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. You guys are really seeming to enjoy the Entrepreneur Life series and I'm really enjoying making these videos for you. So if you want to see more of my Entrepreneur Life videos, then make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and we, you know, don't get right into the video all right so let's get started so right here i just got my ingredients that i'm gonna need i got my gloves put them on then i got my um lip gloss base and i put about um i don't know about two table three tablespoons of the gloss base in there and then this is like a little liquid that thins out the gloss base and I'm basically going to mix that up and this is just to basically make the lip gloss thinner so it'll be easier to go inside the tubes 
and I'm just going to repeatedly test the consistency of the lip glosses. Alright, so now we just add in two scoops of our pink shimmer and then two scoops of our pink glitter. And then I'm going to add some vanilla flavoring and mix it all together. But um, this lip gloss now is vanilla scented. But I'm not a big fan of vanilla. So I'm going to be switching it to mixed berry scent. So if you want the vanilla scent, make sure you get this batch before it's sold out. <laughs> Okay, so once everything is mixed in, then you can finally start loading it into your syringe. And ladies, if you make your own lip glosses, you know this part is hectic trying to get it inside the tube. But I found a little hack through trial and error. So if your tubes are wide enough, then you can use this, I think it's the 30 millimeter syringe. It's um, long enough to just go right into the tube so you won't have to worry about putting in the pipette and then trying to tape it all together to make it stay. Just load it right into the syringe, stick the syringe inside the tube. So y'all, I'm a ding back. I forgot the syringes actually come with stoppers for the bottom of it. But, you know, I'm just using my finger to stop it because since I made the consistency of the glosses thinner, it started sliding through. So yeah, um, I just make sure I have my bowl in front of me so I can release any extra product into the bowl and not on my surrounding areas. So I can just use that once. You know, I'm finished. Recycle, reuse, and reduce. Or however you say that. But yeah, so the first tube I did was um, a trial and error. Basically trying to do a new way of filling my tubes. And that's when I learned that I can't go too fast. I have to basically let it drip. Well, not drip, but like let it slide by itself into the tube with just like a little bit of assistance for me because the air bubbles yeah they make life hard so yeah here's the tube i can't fit these like all the way up because it'll press the stopper back out of the tube so i just feel like a little bit to the um clear part of the gloss and then i just to make it easier i put the stopper on the wand and then I put the wand in the stopper inside the gloss, press it down, twist, and it's on there. So this is like a basically up close version of me doing it so you can actually see it going inside of the tube. even lie this part takes five ever to do so you literally have to have patience you see how long the clip is and it's fast forwarded so just imagine in real life yeah it's a long process so close the tube 
wipe it off and you got another glass and now I'm just gonna use the um, gloss that went back inside of the bowl and just put it back in my syringe and use it for another gloss first round of base I made about five glosses and then off camera I realized I still had a little bit more so I can push it and then I ended up making 10 glosses in all so we have 10 glosses in stock of the Houston's Angel lip gloss. So we made it to the last step. So what you will need now is a bowl and some hot soapy water to just wash your glosses off to get the little um, gloss residue off. Yeah. In a towel or a napkin, either one works and you done. So wash them off as I'm showing you in this part of the clip and then take you some product photos and add them to your site or wherever you sell them at and bada boom bada bam bam you done So that is literally how simple and easy it is to make your very own handmade lip glosses. We have made it to the end of the video and I want to know what you guys have in mind. So let me know what you guys want to see. I'm excited to make these kind of videos for you guys. You guys are enjoying them. I'm enjoying your feedback and I just want to know. So um, do you want to continue me? Do you want to continue to see me make lip glosses on my channel? or you know everything do you want me to come up with wholesale um yeah just let me know if you want me to show you how i make my solid glosses then let me know down below in the comment section and if you want to see more of me making the clear glosses and then also comment that down below and let me know what's your favorite to wear and see is it the bold colors or is it the clear glitter glosses which What's your type? Let me know. I want to know. So make sure you put it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to click the description box so you guys can take advantage of the 20% off sale when you buy two or more products using the code. It's official. I'm not, I think I want to keep it permanent, but I don't know. We will see. We're testing it out. Um, yeah, so make sure you shop beautybitchcos.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And join the Slay Nation. Share this video. Um, Yeah, and that's it. Let me, I'm going to get ready to snatch this hair wig off. Good, got the braids. It's the time, you know. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.